Charles and I had an exciting road trip that turned out much differently than we had planned. We set out from Texas in our new F-150 pickup, bound for Washington, where we intended to pick up our new travel trailer. But the truck broke down in California, and we had to enlist help to pick up the trailer and get it back home from Washington. Fortunately, Charles left his full-time job a few weeks ago, so he headed south to get the RV back to Texas. While I stayed in Washington, visiting my aunt for a few more days. All right, the Bigfoot is at its first campsite. It'll just be myself and Jill's Uncle John, who's helping us get the Bigfoot back to Eureka. And we're staying at a Harvest Host winery. Beautiful view. By the following day, Charles was camped out at an RV park in Eureka, California, waiting on the truck. So you are at your new home. My new home for the foreseeable future. Here's your doggy. Oh my goodness. Here's the Bigfoot. Total mess. Wow, that is a total mess. I've barely gotten started trying to put stuff away. Charles kept himself busy unpacking, running errands on foot, and working on projects. First, he upgraded our shower head to a low flow model. Very quickly, the time came for me to return to my teaching job, and my road trip ended with a red eye flight from Seattle. Flight attendants, prepare for landing. Hello. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in beautiful Eureka. Still waiting on the track. Mainly the shop is still waiting on parts and there's a big to-do about where the parts are, and how soon you're gonna get here. They were supposed to be here by yesterday at the latest. And every time I talk to them and it gets delayed more, it's pretty depressing. I want out of here. Um, it's putting, putting us behind on what we need to get done in Vermont. Um, I don't know, it's just uh, hard to take. <laughs> Just got the truck picked up finally so i need to get the hitch ready and get ready to go hopefully first thing in the morning i'm excited and a little nervous um, hopefully we can get this done and i'll be on my way and a few days i'll be home Because our trailer is heavy compared to the size of our truck, Charles installed a weight distribution hitch before taking off for home. So I got all that done. And the truck is hooked up, ready to go. Hopefully at the break of dawn in the morning. The first trip in our Bigfoot trailer was intended to be fun, but I wasn't able to participate. And after his long delay, Charles was in quite a hurry to get home. 
He put in 12 hour days and slept at truck stops. Now that he's finally here, he can get the trailer ready for its next big adventure, beginning with the installation of the long-awaited solar system.